Good morning, GC. I'm Madison Haley here with Madeline Brown to bring you today's news. Don't forget to vote for your favorite candidate for student and school board member. You vote on your Schoology homepage. Make sure you do that today. Academic team tryouts are coming up next week. They will be September 3rd, 4th, and 5th after school in the library from 315 to 430. If you have any questions, see Ms. Howes or Ms. Day. Any sophomore or junior who wants to take the PSAT should sign up with Ms. Leonard in the guidance office by Tuesday, September 17th. The test costs $17 and will be given at school on Wednesday, October 16th. Students who sign up and pay will be given a study guide. The PSAT is the only way to qualify for the National Merit Scholarship Cooperation Program. The date for Prom 2020 has been set for Saturday, May 9th. Prom committee applications will be available starting mid-September. See Ms. Duke or Ms. Milliken for details. During the break, Carrie Cavett asks, what's your favorite conspiracy theory? And the leadership class shares a message on why you should sign up for the blood drive. My name's Seth Thomas and I'm here with? Callie Jackson. Callie, why haven't you signed up to give blood? Because... Yeah, you should sign up to give blood. It's located at your lunch. Pete, I think I'm in the small. commons, you're not too small. Are you sure? Give blood. Thank you. Why do you want to give blood? I want to give blood because I want to save some lives. Thank you, Kevin. Very inspirational. You're welcome. I'm here with... Audrey Lamb. Audrey, do you know how you could get more TikTok followers? Oh, my gosh. How? <laughs> By signing up to give blood. I'm here with... Sarah Throgmorton. Morton. Sarah, what are you running for? A student board member. Sarah, have you signed up to give blood yet? Um, not yet. Don't you think that would help your campaign? Yes. Sarah, are you going to sign up to give blood? Yes. Thank you. Giving blood is very important to me because if it wasn't for somebody taking the time and um, making that donation to give blood, my child probably wouldn't be here today. So my son had to have multiple blood transfusions as a baby. And um, thank goodness somebody took the time and they decided to donate blood. And um, he is now alive and doing well. Thank you. Hey GC, boys soccer went to Tillman last night. They lost one to two. The girls went to Caldwell and beat them two to one. The girls soccer team goes to Callaway County tomorrow at 12 to face the Henry County Lady Patriots. Also, our volleyball team beat Murray last night three to zero. They head to Owensboro tomorrow, tonight to compete to compete in the Owensboro Invitational. Last night, our Eagles golf team hosted Trigg County and Carlisle County. GCTV's Kobe Allen was the medalist for the match with a two over par 36. However, the Eagles placed third out of the three teams. The Lady Eagles played a short match with, the Car with Carlisle County. GC's Ellie West was the medalist for the match, and with an even par, 34. Both teams will be in action on Tuesday as they, as they host to the Callaway County and Marshall County. Our cross country team heads to Memphis. They'll compete in the Twilight Cross Country Classic. That's all for your Eagles sports action. For GCTV, I'm Alex Ramage. Hi, my name is Carrie Cabot. I'm here to interview students and teachers about what their favorite conspiracy theory is. I'm here with Mr. Kendall. And we're here to talk to him about his favorite conspiracy theories. So, this is like an incredible question for a social studies teacher. I have a ton. I'm going to narrow it down to three. Uh, the first one is the NFL's ruling that St. Louis did not. Uh, in good faith to try to provide a stadium. They offered $300 million to build their new stadium, asked the owner to give $300 million, and then they asked the NFL to also give $300 million, which would be close to a billion-dollar stadium. Uh, the NFL sabotaged the city of St. Louis in order to move them, uh, the Rams, to Los Angeles. Uh, how do I know this? Because they turned around and gave the exact same deal to the San Diego Chargers, and they gave the exact same deal to the Oakland Raiders for their uh, side. Uh, people who say 
three words. Courtney did it. Scandalous. Um, also, uh, Lincoln, not Lincoln, sorry. Kennedy was not shot by one person. There was also another man on the grassy knoll. His name was James Files. Uh, witnesses saw him. You can read all about it on Google. It's the Illuminati. They run everything. Dinosaurs are still real. They're still out there. They still are. That would be the death of Tupac. And why is that? Because he ain't dead. So I, I just really doubt that like we landed on the moon. Like I could see that those shots that they show on TV all the time, like being in a Hollywood studio somewhere. So like, did we really land on the moon? The Bigfoot. And why is that? Oh, I think he's out there somewhere. And also the Epstein case. That's a really fishy. What's your favorite conspiracy theory? Aliens are real. That the moon landing was fake. Um, I mean like X, you know what I'm saying? You know how like, people can say he's dead and everything? No, he's alive, he's alive. You know, there's a lot of, you know, evidence and everything. Well, since Mr. Kendall, the youngest history teacher, picked the Kennedy assassination, I'm the oldest history teacher, so I'm gonna pick the Lincoln assassination. It ended bang. If you like to spend your nights cheering on Eagle Sports, make sure you buy an All Sports Pass. You can get those from Coach Elliott for $25. Starting next Tuesday, the cafeteria will be offering free snacks for anyone staying after school for tutoring. The snacks will be available in the cafeteria until 3.20 p.m. All you have to do is grab a snack bag and write your name on the sheet. A leadership class is hosting a blood drive. That's coming up on September 6th. You can sign up during lunch. Just look for their table in the Commons. If you or a loved one has been impacted by cancer, expressing how you dealt with that can ex experience could win yourself a $500 cash prize. Gilda's Club of Kentuckiana is sponsoring the Right Stuff Teen Writing and Visual Arts Contest. It's open to Kentucky students from 6th through 12th grade, and there are four different contests you can enter. You can write an essay, write a poem, or create a 2D art project or produce a video. They will only accept one entry per student, so if you were to write a poem or create a 2D art, but you can't submit both of them for the contest. The submission deadline is September 27th. Again, you can win up to $500. That's all for today's news. For GCTV, I'm Madeline Brown. And I'm Madison Haley. Have a great day, GC. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.